what's up everyone welcome back to another episode of Nemesis, and we have a few more smaller casting roles uh, one of them which we kind of mentioned before but i wanted to cover it again a little bit in this episode because it's uh, now i'm starting to see other uh, actors that are coming in and playing parts that might tie into this character that we kind of briefly discussed before so we'll start with uh, that uh, person in particular which is stephanie hawkins who is a stunt woman and stunt person who is working on this movie and an actress obviously too and she's going to be doing stunts in this film but also she's going to be playing someone called sickly mom or sickly woman um so that started getting me thinking like oh is that going to be lisa trevor's mom like are we going to see uh is she going to be mrs trevor you know and that is are we going to get the backstory of her and george trevor and everything in the movie and then i thought oh maybe she's just a random patient at uh, you know the hospital and maybe that could just be a thing where we just get a scene where we start seeing the infection spread through Raccoon City and people are like, what's going on? And you have this you know, person in a hospital who starts you know, um, getting really, really violently sick. And we actually see the effects of the T-virus. Whereas like the first movie, everyone just get, gets knocked out with gas and then they wake up zombies and you don't really see the painful transition. Maybe this movie will kind of show some of that and, and, and add some of that as part of the horror of this film. I don't know. So when I saw Stephanie uh, Hawkins, who she done, she's done uh, stunts for, I think, uh, Jean Grey, uh, the actress who played Jean Grey in the recent uh, Fox X-Men movies, um, like Apocalypse. I think she was in that one. Um, uh, Sophie, I think her name was, so who played Jean. So uh, Stephanie looks like she doubled for her and has done a lot, a lot of films and everything. So I was like looking at her career. She was in like Jumper and Robocop and, and uh, Shazam, I believe, too. And I was like, OK, cool. Like she's got a great resume and she's uh, playing someone who I'm... Um, kind of sent a red flag off to me at first because I was like oh sickly mom sickly woman like what does that mean who what's going on well now we got two more cast members that just uh, joined or were just uh, they didn't just join the movie's obviously done filming uh but you know like I said every like couple months or so or, or month there will be some kind of updates to IMDb because actors especially actors who have smaller parts in movies they like to update their IMDb um you know as quickly as possible in hopes that it'll help them get more roles and stuff like that. Sometimes major cast, they'll announce that they're in a movie but not say who they're playing because they have to keep that a secret sometimes. But um, in this case, I mean, they've been pretty open about who everyone's playing and, and, and being very upfront about it, which is great. It makes uh, this a lot easier for me when I make these videos. Uh, but Pamela McDonald here, uh, she is a Canadian actress and she is, a, and that's the thing is I, was, I saw this on Red Letter Media too, they point out that a lot of times when movies are filmed in Canada, you'll see a lot of the same background people and extras and stuff like that. And I started to notice that too, like I'll look at um, different movies that are filmed up in Canada and you start to see that. So um, so Pamela here, though, she's going to play someone in the movie who's just labeled right now as nurse. And again, so it started to get me thinking, all right, is she a nurse at the hospital? And if so, is that a scene with the sickly mom or sickly woman? Um, I go, or is she a nurse at the Arclay facilities? And is she there and they're dealing with, uh, you know, something there? Is she just like a, a nurse that works with a scientist at Arclay um, with the, uh, you know, the Umbrella Corporation's facility behind uh, the Spencer Mansion? Like, I'm like, is it that? Or is she working the nest underground? Are both facilities going to be in the movie or are they going to combine them as one facility like they did in the first Resident Evil movie? Uh, where they kind of said, you know, the train leads from the mansion to the underground, which is, you know, they kind of kind of combine the labs. So I was I was thinking that I was like, oh, who, you know, could she be a nurse in the hospital? And then we get a scene in the hospital or is she, you know, something tied to, uh, you know, Arclay of some kind uh, in some way. So I thought about that, and then I saw uh, another stunt performer who is also an actor, um, has worked in art department stuff before, who is Carson Manning, and Carson here is uh, listed as a orderly and so orderly you know has a couple different meanings obviously you can be orderly by keeping your area clean but sometimes that's what happens in a hospital you have an orderly that is responsible for non-medical stuff for patients so you know someone who just comes in and cleans up gets the new bedpans you know things like that they're not really there to talk about medicine or prescribe things to you for the most part i mean i'm sure they do you know if the conversation comes up but and i'm sure they know know those things and, and can answer some questions but they're not really there for that they're there to just kind of keep things tidy and make sure you got enough towels you know things like that that aren't medical related so you have that version of what an orderly is but then you also have someone who's like a soldier uh, who is carrying out like an officer's orders and so that got me thinking too well, okay well what does orderly mean in this case i'm ten I i'm leaning to possibly the the you know the hospital stuff because then okay great now you have 
an orderly that could be in the scene with the sickly mom or sickly woman and then also the nurse they could all kind of occupy the same space um, if, if the nurse is helping with the patient and then the orderly is grabbing stuff in the background you know looking busy and stuff um, and then gets freaked out when the person like bites the nurse or whatever you know it's or maybe the the orderly gets bitten and the nurse freaks out you know whatever so it started I started piecing together these things and I, I like speculating on that realm not so much to like spoil or ruin the movie for me but just to kind of get it gets me a little pumped because I am very into Resident Evil and I I've written two uh, full Resident Evil scripts before one based on the first game one based on the second game but then I also wrote a spec script at one point that was a prequel to the Resident Evil universe that focused on the Trevor family and you actually it's like a really it's a slow burn uh, script uh, but I, a lot of people that read it really did enjoy it and it was called a domicile and it was a like a code name for it for being Resident Evil and at the end you found out that uh, that I mean if you're a fan you knew who George Trevor's name was right away uh, and you kind of recognize the mansion right away but uh, but it wasn't until the end where they I mentioned Umbrella and you start to see Lisa Trevor turn and uh, you see uh, George Trevor's wife start to turn and and uh, and he's like losing it too because he's been infected with a virus and his memory is slipping away and it was it was that kind of like story uh, you know and and so I've 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 definitely written my own stuff so I like to speculate on what people might do with Resident Evil because it's just fun for me I, and I like to like think about different scenarios so when I thought about this and thought maybe all this could be happening in a hospital I was like oh maybe that'll that maybe that in some way shows us that we're gonna get. Uh, you know the hospital as a setting in this movie um or you know or maybe it'll be something closer tied to umbrella and one of their underground labs or something like that so i don't know it's just fun stuff i want to talk about it and uh, bring it to your attention so let me know what you think do you think these three characters could be connected in some way do you think not do you think they'll be in different locations what locations do you think we'll get in this movie because obviously we're going to get the rpd and the spencer mansion we know those for sure and then different areas around raccoon city with kendo in the you know, background and we also have the orphanage but uh you know are we going to get the hospital too i'd love to hear your thoughts let me know down below and we'll continue the conversation as always down there Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.